This is Control B, where I get a chance to talk with the leaders that are making bold moves today to deliver those breakthrough experiences to their employees and customers. Today, I'm joined by Tim Gregory, who is the Managing Director of Innovation and Workforce Technology at Delta Airlines. One of the things that, I, that I've always believed in is before you jump into talking about business, it's great to make a little connection. And so the riders here at Control B have written a few jokes for each of us to try on each other, and then we'll decide if they're worth actually using in the business context. Years ago, I was on a cross-country flight, and I asked the flight attendant if I could change seats because the baby next to me would not stop crying. Well, it turns out this is totally against the rules when you bought the ticket for the baby. Hey, Brad, you got a laugh track or anything for you? <laughs> Delta has a reputation for having this incredibly strong customer service focus, but your company is just as passionate about offering that same level of support and attention to its employees. What kinds of information are the most important when it comes to understanding the Delta workforce, and how do you analyze that data so you can make quick decisions and turn you know, turn the company when needed. That's uh, an, another really good example of technology and process and people, right, that we're bringing from the customer side. We call it SVOC, the single view of the customer. Um, and it is something that we've been spending many, many years developing. And we've got, uh, particularly for our frequent flyers, we've got a great deal of information that they have provided to us that allows us to uh, tailor experiences and provide uh, world-class customer service. So we're taking that same idea uh, and building uh, SVOE. And single view of the employee has really two layers to it. It's got what we're calling sort of the listening layer. And the listening layer is built on the Qualtrics technology platform. Underneath that, and this is, uh, this is quite a challenge, and I'm, I'm sure you know, any, any folks that are out there that are, are, are working on this sort of thing, to bring together disparate data sources related to your employees. We know a lot about our employees, but oftentimes those data sources may be with our vendors, they may be in separate systems. So the idea of creating a unified data model that allows us to see across the entire employee experience ribbon. At Delta, we've got uh, what we call the customer experience ribbon. Uh, and we work uh, to find those seams and those customer experiences from the moment you think about flying to the moment you get home. Uh, and we've done a careful examination of what that looks like on the employee side. Uh, and we're looking to source the data pieces that allow us to understand when those moments that matter to our employees uh, happen. The first time you've become a manager, let's say, or your, your, your family is growing. Um, there, there are opportunities for us to bond with uh, uh, and, and build that relationship uh, with employees and those are the moments that really stick and allow us to keep the best talent. I mean, we've got the, we've got the best workforce in, in the industry uh, and a lot of that has to do with our ability to genuinely listen and now we're bringing in process and technology, leveraging what we've learned on the customer side. It bodes very well for the work that we're doing in this space. In my view, these two roles, the roles of the, you know, the, the chief people officer, the role of the CIO, and the, and the role of the CTO, those roles all come in together and now impact the employee experience in the most meaningful ways possible. One of the things that I love about what we're talking about here is this getting this complete 360 degree view of both customers and employees. And in the roles that both of you play, you know, trying to simplify that as much as you can so you have all that data in one place, you can actually take advantage of the incredible data assets you have. That's core, I think, to the organizations that are really ahead of the curve here. And instead of thinking about these different programs as separate things, thinking about them in a holistic way and how do you unify them. And I think that's one of the key things that I hear from CIOs around the globe. Let me see what we got here. This was just hot off the press. We've got, okay. Um, the ancient city of Sumer invented civilization. London invented subways, but Atlanta holds the singular distinction of being the only Olympic city to offer 40 Waffle House locations. <laughs> now, Delta has so many different kinds of employees, from the traditional office to logistics, pilots, flight crews, 
So how do you gather the information that you need about this incredibly diverse workforce and what their needs are, and how did you do that specifically over the last year? Our rule of thumb is keep it focused, keep it simple, and really try to find the heart of the matter, right? Uh, and, and make it frictionless and be available where they are. So we work very closely with our IT organization. You know, Brad, the comment you made earlier about the need for, for the people side of the house and HR and IT to work together and what, what power can be uh, brought from that. Uh, we work really, really closely with them um, and, and to ensure that we've got that technology right where it's easy for our employees to access. We've labeled internally to get folks excited about and really understand what, what's changing and what's new, we've labeled it PX5. Uh, and PX5, what that means is people experience five. On a five point scale, how are we doing? And our goal ultimately is to link the people experience as well as the, the customer experience. And what we like to, what we're seeking, the big question, and a lot of what we're trying to get done at the data layer is understand that when we do, take certain actions on the people side, empirically, what does that do to the customer side, right? I think we all recognize, uh, you know, that happy employees, engaged employees, they're gonna go that extra, uh, that they're gonna take that extra mile, uh, an extra inch, an extra anything uh, for, for our customers. Now I'm curious, um, what are examples of some things that you could not have done without understanding the X data? Or maybe another way to say it is, what are some of the projects that might have gone sideways had you not understood what was really in the hearts and minds of your employees? Uh, our first sort of foray into this space, we took a look at sort of custom platforms. Uh, and then, you know, when COVID hit, it really was a game changer. And we were very fortunate to have sort of Qualtrics available. And in something as sensitive as that, Brad, as you can imagine, you're gonna have a whole host of, of human experiences across the vaccination experience, right? And you're going to hear uh, all sorts of messaging coming out. And if we had not set up those listening posts, right, very thoughtfully, thoughtfully very deliberately, um, I think it could have been easily uh, turned, uh, the apple cart turned over a bit, where you know one particular employee may have had one opinion, another employee had a different opinion, that sort of floats up to the top of the house and do we have an issue here? And that can distract the team from, from execution sometimes. So uh, by having those listening posts, we knew exactly how many people were surveyed. We knew how many people were going through the vaccination program uh, and we knew what our score was. We were averaging 4.96 on a five point scale throughout the entire uh, 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 vaccination program that we launched here at Delta. <music> I think it's good advice to dress for the job you want, but on the other hand, there are nine people in my old office who kept showing up dressed as Iron Man. <laughs> Thank you, Tim, for being on Control B, where we get to hear from leaders who are making those bold moves and decisions to deliver breakthrough experiences. This is the end of side one of this record.